Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at this very simple kinetic text effect. There's not a lot to it, but I think it's quite interesting. So let's get cracking. So from the project browser, I've chosen to create a new title effect, uh, which is why we've got this title background. I'm just going to turn that off for while we work. I'm also just going to point out that I've chosen 1920, 1080, 24 frames a second, and a duration of three seconds. So I'm going to come back to my text here. And in layout, we want to switch from a paragraph to type. And I'm going to center align it, come over to properties, and reset all of this. So it's sitting more or less in the center of the screen. Then I'm going to hit the R key for the rectangle tool, or you could come down to the menu here. And I'm going to draw it a rectangle like that. I'm going to right click to center it up, come over to the shape, come over to the fill. I'm going to make any color other than white, just so we can see what's going on. I'm going to put it behind my text temporarily. So I'm going to come back to my text. Let's uh, make this larger. Actually, let's change our text to something a bit more interesting than type text here. A changing world. Maybe just reduce that size a little bit. And then let's use the baseline control to just to center it up in the box. Let's come back to our rectangle. Just need to reset this geometry a bit here. So let's go for a width of 1920 to make it nice and tidy. And for the height, I'm going to go for 100 pixels. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new group just above my text. Object new group, put my text into it. Right click on the group, add image mask. And I'm going to use the rectangle as the source and that's the rectangles disappeared that's fine for now so what we're going to do is we're going to reselect the text we're going to come to behaviors text animation and sequence text and then in the sequencing we're going to select two for the parameter we're going to, we're going to select format position and in the y position we're going to type negative 105 and then if we run it, we see that the letters all sort of disappear. And that's because they're being masked by the box that we created. I'm also going to change the end offset. So it's a little bit shorter. So I'm going to go for 30 there. And so that will make it finish 30 frames before the end of our three seconds. I'm not entirely happy with the direction. Well, that might be something you like. What I'm going to go for instead is random. And that's going to create this effect. And I'm also just going to increase that spread to something like 10, just so it's a little bit smoother. Then I'm going to take my text, right click, make clone layer. I'm going to drag it out of this group into the main group. I'm going to add object new group, pop the clone layer into there. Right click on this new group, add image mask. Again, we're going to use that rectangle. And what we're going to do with this clone layer is simply come to its position and its Y position and make that 105. And then if we come back to the beginning, you'll see we've got our animation. And because we've made that clone, whatever we do with this sequence text, you know, if we decided that actually we didn't like random, we actually did prefer forwards after all, you'll notice that that updates because the clone is, is following along with this sequence text. And you can do all manner of different things. So you could actually have sort of ends to center and all that kind of stuff. And you know, play with the spread if you wanted a more exaggerated effect. So there you go. I mean, if you want to publish this to Final Cut, you would make sure to turn on the title background and then just simply save as, and you know, come to the category you want to put it in and give it the name that you want it, and then publish. You know, there's lots of things you'd probably want to publish as well, like the size of that rectangle, the height, I should say. But I'll leave that all up to you. So you've basically got the idea, hopefully. So thanks for watching. See you again soon.